What does this person do? A PAX analyst serves the purpose of supporting the system, which gets images from a patient to the physician and ultimately allows the physician or physicians to then care for the patient. How to become a PAX analyst with no experience. If you're someone who's looking to get a job as a radiology IT analyst, then this is the place to look. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can get a job as a PAX analyst. We'll take a look at the overall requirements you'll need to get your first job offer. Obviously, you're looking to get your first job in the field, so we're assuming you have no experience as a PAX analyst. In this video, you'll learn how to gain the necessary experience required so you can get started in this career. If you're someone who's already a healthcare professional, then even better. You'll find the step-by-step -step guide much easier. However, this video is meant to reach out to all audiences. As you may know, there are other words that describe this job or other titles that describe this job, including Radiology Systems Administrator, PAX Administrator, Systems Analyst, Systems Engineer, Imaging Analyst. These are some examples, so just know that we're talking about the same thing. The first video will serve as a guide for what you need to do to break into the field. This is the first video in the series, and in the following series of videos, I'll give you a step-by-step -step process on exactly how to get hired as a PAX analyst. Consider this the beginning of your bootcamp. Let's get started. What is a PAX analyst anyway, and what do they do? To be clear, for the purpose of this video, we'll stick to the terminology of PAX analyst. However, in the future, we may use words such as PAX Administrator or Radiology Systems Analyst interchangeably. Ultimately, it's the same role with slight differences, and the definition may change from site to site. Let's look at the three most commonly used titles and review what the textbook definitions are. The PAX Administrator Meet Marty Let's start with PAX Administrator. A PAX Administrator is someone who manages a PAX system on a day-to-day -day operations basis. PAX stands for the Picture Archive and Communication System. It's a fancy name for the storage repository where diagnostic images are sent. MRIs or X-rays get sent from the modalities, or in other words, the devices, to the PAX system. The PAX administrator is responsible for ensuring images get sent to the correct patient. They can assist in resolving any errors. For example, a common mistake made by the users is sending an image to the wrong patient. The PAX admin can assist in getting the images to the correct place, either alone or with the vendor. And the vendor is pretty much the company that sold the PAX system. The PAX administrator can also assist in troubleshooting network connectivity issues from the devices to the PAX. They can do this either alone or with someone from the networking team. For example, a certain device is no longer able to send to PAX after a repair. The PAX administrator would have to check if the details on the device was changed or modified. For example, if the configuration to send images to PAX was lost during the repair. embedded within the radiology department. His role can be very hands-on, whether it's as easy as bringing a new keyboard to a radiologist or swapping out a faulty video card from the radiologist's computer. A PAX admin can definitely expect to get dust on his shirt and tie as he squeezes into these tight places to exchange hardware. Overall, a PAX administrator is ultimately responsible for the day-to-day -day activities of the PAX system. Meet Javi. The PAX Analyst. Yo, what's up, babe? The PAX Analyst. The PAX Analyst is similar to the Administrator. According to some institutions and organizations, the PAX Analyst should have the necessary skills as the PAX Administrator, plus more. The Analyst role is project-based. Instead of only resolving day-to-day -day issues, they'll also be required to provide long-term solutions. These long-term solutions come in the form of projects. 
This includes upgrading the entire PAC software, installing new modalities, making database changes, upgrading infrastructure, rolling out software and communicating closely with the end users to determine how to meet their needs. The analyst role could be flexible or fully remote. The role can allow you to be at a hospital one day, configuring a new device on a Monday, then at a cubicle at an office building on Tuesday, then working from home on Wednesday. Oh, and also working from home Saturday night at 10 p.m. instead of watching your favorite TV show. Did I mention that? Typically, healthcare roles will require off-hour support, where you'll need to work on the system in the middle of the night when you have the least amount of users. If you don't drink coffee or tea, then trust me, you will soon. I didn't drink coffee either for 28 years until I started this. Meet Mick. Radiology Systems Analyst. The Radiology Systems Analyst. So this is the same as the PAX Analyst role, except in the title, this role explicitly defines that it is all-inclusive of all radiology systems. This includes RISS, the Radiology Information System, where electronic orders of these exams are received. Uh, the voice dictation system, uh, a system that uses microphones and software to convert speech to text so a radiologist can talk into a microphone instead of typing up a report for every patient image he reads. And the uh, dose reporting system, which is a system to track how much radiation was administrated to the patient so this information can be submitted to a governing board. In addition, we have the Radiology Systems Engineer, the Radiology Infrastructure Engineer, the Imaging Analyst, and the Enterprise Analyst. There you have it. We just reviewed the three most common titles. We defined the differences, but at the end of the day, different hospitals will have their own definition. Ideally, Marty, Javi, and Mick have the same basic skills needed to get the job done. All these roles will share the same core skills, which will focus on building. So how would I define this role in a short sentence? What does this person do? A PAX analyst serves the purpose of supporting the system, which gets images from a patient to the physician and ultimately allows a physician or physicians to then care for the patient. Obviously, there's a whole lot more going on, but we'll need to keep things simple for now. If you haven't already seen my video on what is DICOM, then check it out in the link below. I explain the workflow in which a patient first arrives at a clinic to getting the images taken and having the images read and dictated by the physician. You can also Google the titles I've provided and take a look at the opportunities available in your region. You'll be able to check out the number of positions open, the starting salary, the mid-career salary, and really decide if this is what you want to pursue. Keep in mind, it won't be easy to get your foot in the door with no experience, but that's what we're going to do. And once you're in there, there'll be many more opportunities. For example, imaging is not just limited to radiology. Although radiology does play a big role and is a big part, there are other departments that require imaging analysts. For example, cardiology, ophthalmology, dental, and the entire enterprise. To wrap it all up today, we basically learned what it is to be a PAX analyst and all the other terms that are associated with it. So if you decide, hey, this is for me, then stay tuned for our next video. We'll talk about who you are and how you can mold yourself to fit this role. While you wait for the next video, open up your search bar and try these job titles. See what comes up. Look at the requirements, compare it to what you already have, and think about where you need to be. It's always good to start researching now. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe to see more. Speak. A.E.